In this video, we're not gonna be telling you anything about our story. We're gonna just talk about how our skills have stacked throughout our journey. If you wanna know our journey and we go nitty gritty in deep on how we've built these businesses and what we've done to get here, you can watch this video. Just five years ago, we were making $6 an hour cleaning windows. Fast forward, now we're making over $630,000 per month in a completely different industry. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how we did it. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you what skill stacking is and skill compounding is. I truly believe it's the reason Sergio and I have gone from broke college students to millionaires in just a matter of five years. And if you don't know who we are, my name is Sergio. Me and Johnny actually have a few companies doing just over $7 million a year. Starting out, we didn't know at the time, but we were actually building the first compounding skill. So the first thing was we knew how to do a service, which was cleaning windows, and we knew how to sell it. When I say knew, we barely knew. We were figuring it out as we went. But as we did it more and more, we got better and better at cleaning windows and at selling. And that allowed us to raise our prices and make more money doing that service. Now the thing about compounding skills is it allows you to make more and more money the more skills you can stack on top of each other. So maybe at first we were making let's say $4,000 a month because we knew how to sell some window cleaning services. But as we grew the business we had to learn how to do marketing. That allowed us to scale and make more money so that instead of making $4,000 a month we could actually make $10,000 per month cleaning windows. With learning marketing, that brought tons of new leads because all marketing is is basically sales, but at scale, right, to the masses. So you don't have to go spend your time knocking on a million doors, getting a bunch of no's before you get a yes, right? You can get the leads to come to you, you pick up the phone, and then you close them. So we had to figure out how to service all of these leads. Then you have the fact of, okay, we're in a service business, so we really only can grow incongruent to how much we can actually service, how many customers we can service. And in order to do so, we have to have more people than just Sergio and I to go out and clean the windows. So the next important skill we had to learn was hiring. But hiring is a very hard skill to learn, at least it was for us, because in window cleaning, you're dealing with lots of entry level talent. Think about the type of person that wants to have a full-time window cleaning job or make window cleaning a career. Eventually, they're gonna max out on their skill of cleaning windows really quickly, and guess what? They're gonna go up and do it on their own. So hiring and retention became a very difficult problem in this business which would eventually lead us to exit the business and get into a whole new industry but the fact that we spent two to three years hiring and learning the process and dealing with that type of talent and shifting to an industry where hiring talent was a lot easier because our margins were much better it wasn't as commoditized there was a higher ceiling on the skills that our employees at the new company could learn it made managing and leading and hiring so much easier because of the hard work we put in on the window cleaning business, dealing with a much more difficult pool of talent to manage and lead. One of the last skills we've been able to learn and apply is delegating because you can hire all the people you want and have 10 employees and still be working your butt off when in reality, there's probably a ton of things in your day that you can delegate to the people that you've hired. So learning how to properly delegate is a skill. It's not just telling someone, hey, do this. It's being able to convey that this is their responsibility and holding them accountable to doing that responsibility. So any job or position that you're in right now, you can always be learning skills doing what you're doing. And by learning those skills and stacking those on top of each other, you have the possibility to bring more value into the marketplace. The more value that you can bring, the more money you can demand or make doing what you're doing. So I want you to think about what skills do you have today and think about what skills you may need to get to where you want to go in the future. So if you're currently in a job or you have your own business, there's skills that you're acquiring every day. And the more skills that you can stack and compound, the more value you can bring to the market. So I want you guys to ask yourself, what skills do I have today? And what are the skills that I may need in the future to get to where I want to go? If you guys received any value from this video, I want you guys to smash the like button and hit subscribe so you guys get notified for all of our future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.